having fun at the Christmas market. There's Buster. He's having a candy apple. So yummy. Whoa, Mommy Bus has a present. Is that for Buster? It is. But Mommy says to wait until Christmas to open the present. Buster doesn't want to wait. He wants to open the present now. <laughs> but he'll have to wait. Ah. Throw the ball to knock down the cans. That's Mommy's favorite game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, uh-oh. Buster's going to try to look at the present while Mommy is distracted. Buster shouldn't really be doing that. Hmm, what is inside? Here's Bandit. Oh, look out! Oh no, the present is flying off across the market. Quick! They have to get the present back before Mommy notices it's gone. The present is on the ice rink. Quick, Bandit, grab it. Oopsie. Buster will have to try and get it now. So close. Ah, so close. Mommy Bus still hasn't noticed the missing present. She's having so much fun. <laughs> Oh, there's the present. Can Bandit and Buster get it back before Mommy notices? Uh, ah, whoops. Where's the present gone now? Uh, oh, look, <gasps> the Wonder Wheel. It's Ash, and there's the present. Oh, no, he dropped it. Go, Buster. Great catch. Phew. Well done, Buster. Look, uh? Mommy put all the cans down. <laughs> Hooray, she won a teddy bear. They've got the present back just in time. <laughs> Mommy is in such a good mood, she's going to let Buster look at the present, if he still wants to. Mm. Oh. But Buster has learned his lesson. He's going to wait. <laughs> it's finally Christmas Day, and Buster can open the present at last. <laughs> Whoa, it's a new soccer ball. <laughs> That's why it was so bouncy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Buster. Buster, Mommy Bus, and Ash are at the Soft Play Center. How exciting! Looks like Buster wants to play in the big kids section, but he's not quite big enough yet. Wow, this is amazing! Ash is very excited. But Buster thinks he's too old for soft play. They're having so much fun. Look at them go. But Buster doesn't want to join. Now they're bouncing on the trampoline. Whee! That does look like lots of fun, Buster. Nope, he's still not going to play. What is Ash running from? Oh, look! It's Captain Mommy! Arg! Quick! Run away, Ash! He's escaped to the ball pit. That looks like so much fun! Now Buster wants to join in. Quick! The captain is going to catch you! Go, Buster! Buster is really getting into this now! Ahoy, me hearties! What was that? <laughs> gotcha! It's Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash to the rescue! Run away! <laughs> Look at them go! Watch out, Captain Mommy! Pirate Buster and Pirate Ash have saved the day! See, Buster? The soft play center was lots of fun after all! Oh, no! 
bandit bus is stealing from the candy shop. Stop, thief! It's Otis the police car. He's come to investigate the case of the stolen candy. Bandit bus went that way, Otis. I don't think Otis saw bandit bus get away. Great idea, Otis. Follow the trail of candy. I think we know who it will lead to. There he is. Stop, thief. Look, Otis, some more clues. Keep following the trail. Wow, Bandit Bus is dropping a lot of candy. Oh, hey, Buster. Oh, I don't think that candy is for you. Buster loves candy. Oh, dear, the trail of candy has led straight to Buster the Bus. Otis must think that Buster is the thief. You've made a mistake, Otis. Buster is innocent. Poor Buster, what are you going to do? Otis is putting Buster in jail. Oh, Buster. Oh, here comes Scout. Maybe Scout can help Buster get out of jail. You have to help Buster, Scout. Prove he's innocent. That's right, Scout. Follow the trail of candy to find the truth. Scout the detective is on the case. There he is. Bandit Bus caught red-handed stealing from the toy shop. You're going down this time, Bandit Bus. Stop right there. In the name of the law, you're under arrest. It's time to put things right and get Buster out of jail. Come on out, Buster. You're innocent. And in goes Bandit the Bus. Thanks, Scout. You're a great detective. If it wasn't for you, Buster would still be locked up. I'm sorry, Bandit Bus, but you had it coming. Stealing is against the law. Well done, Otis. Bye, Look. Bandit. It's Buster the Bus. But, whoa, he sure looks sleepy. He's driving off the road. Oh, no! Buster's ended up in the muddy puddle. And now he's stuck. Poor Buster. How will he get out? The next morning, Scout visits Buster's garage. But, oh, dear. Buster is nowhere to be found. Where is he? Oh. But look, muddy tracks. Scout is following them to see where Buster is. There's Diggly the Digger. Scout tells him Buster's missing. They need to find him. Scout and Diggly search together. Look, a trail of sweets. Where could it lead? Whoa, what was that? Aw, phew, it's just Robin. Scout explains that Buster is missing, and Robin agrees to help search, too. They'll have a better chance of finding him if they work together. Poor Buster is lonely and cold. Scout looks behind the trees. Diggly looks beside the rocks. What's Robin seen? Some more tire tracks. Look, there's Buster. He's stuck in the mud. He's been here so long. Robin goes to tell Diggly and Scout that he's found oh. Buster. He's just over the hill. There's poor Buster. <laughs> Diggly and Scout can help. Working together, Diggly and Scout pull Buster out of the muddy puddle. Huh? Now Buster is free at last. He's very grateful to his friends for rescuing him. Now he's back. Whoa. Safe and sound in his garage. It looks like you're all covered in mud. You had a lot of fun splashing through those muddy puddles. It looks like Buster might need a wash. I'm not sure if he thinks so. Here comes the city bus. Oh dear, he doesn't look very impressed at how dirty Buster is. It looks like Buster has finally realized just how messy he looks. That's right, Buster. You're covered in mud. Is that a sign for a car wash? <laughs> Great idea, Buster. Off he goes to the car wash to clean himself up. Oh, poor Buster. He's too scared to go inside. It does look very scary, doesn't it? Go on, Buster, you can do it. You need to get clean, you're so dirty. He's going for it. Buster is being very brave indeed. 
One, two, three. <gasps> oh no, you were so close, Buster. Oh, he sounds very impatient. Buster, take a deep breath. You can do it. Huh? But the sounds are so scary. Go on, Buster, you can do it. You're almost there. Ready, set, go! <laughs> You're doing it, Buster! It tickles! That's not so bad, is it? And out he comes! There, that wasn't so bad, was it, Buster? All sparkly and clean. Looking good. Wow, well done, Buster. Nice and clean. That car wash wasn't so scary Buster after all. is at Daddy's house today. Oh, look, it's Daddy Bus. Tomorrow, Buster is going back to school. <laughs> it's going to be great. But first, they need to get ready. Daddy Bus has a checklist of everything Buster needs before he goes back to school tomorrow. <laughs> he needs his rucksack, a lunchbox, his school book, a pencil case, and a ruler. Rucksack, check. Lunchbox, check. Everything else, check. And last but not least, the shark tooth from his holiday for show and tell. Wow! Buster needs to get a good night's sleep before school tomorrow. Good night, Buster. Ooh. There goes the alarm. It must be time to get up. Oh no, Buster has gone back to sleep. Oh dear. And now he's going to be late for school. Quick, they've got to get everything ready. Huh? What does Buster need? Rucksack? Check. Lunchbox? Check. Pencil case and school book? Check. But what is he missing? The ruler. Aha! There it is! It's time to head off for school. Wait a second, Buster forgot his shark tooth. <gasps> quick, Buster, quick! Shark tooth, check. They're going to have to race to get there on time. Go, Buster! Looks like the teacher is getting worried. All his friends are already at school, and he's going to be late. Oh, no! Phew! He did it! Just in time! What a crazy morning! It's Jessie the Jeep. She's got a cake. Wow, that looks tasty. But here comes Bandit Bus. He looks mischievous. Oh no! He's eating Jessie's cake! That's not fair at all! Poor Jessie! There's Buster the bus! And there's Bandit, driving too fast! Look! Buster's gone to play with Scout! He's given her a soccer ball as a present! Look at Scout go! Look at that! Diggly is building a colorful tower. But here comes Bandit. I wonder what that awful bully is up to. Oh no! He's knocked over Diggly's tower. Bandit is a menace. Uh oh, he's seen Scout's ball. 
<laughs> Bandit is stealing the ball for himself. What a bully. Buster wants to do something. Poor Scout is really upset. Buster wants to help his friend. He's going to stand up to Bandit and get him to give the ball back. I don't think Bandit will listen to Buster. He's going to bully him instead. It's not fair. But wait, Jesse is standing beside Buster. Scout is here to help too. They're all fed up with Bandit being a bully. There's Otis, the police car, enjoying an ice cream. Oops, Bandit has backed into Otis. Otis looks mad. Serves Bandit right, being mean to everyone. <laughs> now Buster, Scout, and Jesse can play soccer in peace. Mommy Bus and Ashley are having a relaxing day in, while Buster and Ash play tag. Oops, watch out, Buster. <gasps> hmm. Maybe Buster and Ash should play outside instead. <laughs> oh look, Buster has spotted the shed as a good hiding place. Off he goes, with Ash not far behind. Ash got him, well done. <gasps> oh no, the water on the shed is freezing into icicles. They're trapped. Buster is trying to push Ash through the window, but he doesn't quite fit. What can they do now? Oh, a fishing rod. Buster has an idea. Grandpa Bus is really looking forward to eating his sandwich, but oh no, it's snatched away. Buster is using the fishing rod to hook the sandwich and get Mommy Bus's attention. Go, Buster! It worked! Mommy Bus is using a hair dryer to melt the icicles. Buster and Ash are free at last. Thanks, Mommy. Today, Buster and his family are having a picnic. Buster is so excited. Mommy Bus is off to get Grandpa. And while she's gone, Buster and Bandit need to prepare the picnic. First, they have to lay down the picnic blanket. Whoa, the wind has blown it away. It looks like a cape. It's Super Buster. Bandit wants a cape too. And it's a tug of war. Buster is imagining that he is a superhero. Super Buster flying through the sky. <gasps> it's bad guy Bandit! Mwahaha! <laughs> He's stolen the picnic! Oh no! Super Buster has got to save it! They are chasing through the sky! Go, Super Buster, go! You can catch him! Oh no! Bad guy Bandit is aiming at Super Buster with his laser shapes! But Super Buster is too fast. Wow, look at him go! <gasps> Hooray! Super Buster has saved the picnic. But what is that? It's a giant blue laser ball. Oh no! What is Super Buster going to do? Aha! He's using the flagpole as a bat. Bring it on, bad guy bandit. Great shot, Super Buster! Wow. <laughs> wow, that was such a fun game! But oh no, they've made a huge mess! And Mommy Bus and Grandpa are on their way! What are they going to do? Quick, they've got to clear it up! As superheroes, of course! <laughs> Super Buster and Bad Guy Bandit are clearing up the city. Even superheroes need to clean up after themselves. Just in time, 
Great teamwork, guys! <laughs> yum, yum! Delicious! And all that superhero work has left them very hungry. There's Buster and Scout. They're having great fun playing in all the muddy puddles. But, oh no! Poor Scout is feeling a bit sick. Aw, it's okay. They can play together again tomorrow. Now Buster is heading inside and grabbing a snack. But, oh dear, he's not washed his muddy wheels before eating that apple. That's not very clean. And he's left muddy wheel prints everywhere. The next morning, Mommy comes to wake up Buster. But, oh no! Buster doesn't look well at all. Poor Buster. Whoa, he's got a temperature. He'll have to stay home today to get better. Now it's time for some medicine. Buster doesn't like the look of it, but Mommy knows it'll help him get better. There, that wasn't so bad. Now Buster just has to get some rest. The next morning, Buster is feeling much better. <laughs> Scout's feeling better, too. They can go outside and play again. But wait. Mommy says they should wash their hands first so they won't get ill again. Good job, everyone. Wait. Mommy has another idea. They can wear these face masks, too, so they don't get sick. There. Now Buster and Scout are ready to play outside safely. They're so happy now that they're feeling better again. Look at those paint brushes. Buster and his friends are painting the walls in Buster's room today. How exciting! Mommy Bus is bringing them lots of different colored paints. They can paint the wall underneath the window. Hmm, what color should Buster choose? Scout has chosen purple. And Ash has picked red. And Buster? Yellow, of course! Let's paint! Oops! Ash adds a red splat to match Scouts. And Buster adds a yellow splat. Awesome! I wonder what Scout is painting first. It's a rocket! Awesome! Cool! Buster's go next. What's he going to paint? <gasps> a bumblebee! Not on the cabinet, Ash! Now they're having a paint fight. Be careful! That paint is very messy! Oh dear! They're getting paint everywhere! What a mess! Uh-oh, the yellow paint is all over the floor. <gasps> and now the purple! Yikes! Mommy Bus is wondering what all that noise is. That was so much fun! Uh-oh, they didn't realize they were making such a mess! But Buster has a plan. They can use Ash's hose to clear it up. The water is washing away the paint. Great job, Ash! Oh no! Mommy Bus is coming and they haven't finished clearing up the mess yet! Time to get all cleaned up! is hosing Buster down. Splash! <laughs> now it's Scout's turn. 
And that looks like so much fun! And finally, Ash! Well done, everyone! Wow! The room looks completely clean! Time for Ash and Scout to head off home! Oops! Well, not completely! Ooh. Buster the Bus has come out to play! Watch out for that red paint, Buster! <laughs> oh, Buster's driven right through it! Look, Buster! You've painted some red lines with your tires! <laughs> I think Buster's had an idea. Nice work. You've painted a circle. A circle is round. Huh? It's the same shape as your wheel, Buster. Now you've colored the circle in, Buster. It's a red circle. Oh, hey, Scout. Come and join the fun. We're learning shapes. What shape is Scout painting? It's a square. A blue square. A square has four equal sides. <laughs> Hey there, Digger! Digger has come to paint shapes with Buster and Scout. <laughs> what shape will Digger paint? Digger isn't quite as fast as Buster and Scout. It's okay, Digger will be finished soon. It's a triangle. A triangle has three sides. <laughs> a yellow triangle. <laughs> Digger took so long to paint a shape that Buster and Scout have fallen asleep. Wake up, you two! What other shapes can you draw? A green rectangle. Great work, Buster. A gold star. That looks fantastic, Scout. And a lovely pink heart. Digger is painting a diamond. Wow, look at all the colors go. It's a wonderful rainbow diamond. So many different colored shapes. Learning the shapes was so much fun. We made a square, circle, triangle, star, heart, rectangle, and a diamond. Well done, everyone! Look! Buster has arrived early for school today! There's Scout and Diggly! Whoops! Buster slipped on some oil! Oh dear! The blackboard is wrecked! Scout slipped too! Phew! Oh no! The clock is broken, too! What a mess! Hey! And here comes the teacher! They'll need to clean everything up really quick! But the board is too heavy for Scout! And Diggly can't pick up the letters! Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces! I think Buster has a plan. Uh -huh. They can swap oh. jobs. <laughs> Scout can collect up all the letters. <laughs> then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. <laughs> Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done! Just in time, here comes the teacher! Well? Everything looks normal. <laughs> Apart from that letter. <laughs> and the time isn't right. <laughs> and the number. One, two, three, four. Good as new. Hey there, Buster. <laughs> He's going for a drive with Scout. Look, there's Tony the delivery truck. <laughs> Looks like Scout and Buster are going to follow Tony to see where he's going today. <laughs> They're having so much fun together. <laughs> Silly Scout. Buster isn't paying attention to the road. Watch out, Buster! 
Whew, that was a close one. Pay attention, Buster. You nearly crashed into the back of Tony. Oh, look. There's a pothole in the road, and Tony is heading straight for it. Oh, no. The pothole has caused Tony's doors to unlock. Watch out, Buster and Scout. It looks like some of those boxes might tumble out. The boxes have started to fly out into the road. I don't think Tony has even noticed. And another box is about to fall out. Wow, quick thinking, Buster. Great catch. Here comes another one. Well done, Scout. Great work. Oh, no. Be careful, Scout. Scout has lost control and skidded off the road. Her box has gone flying up into that tree. Oh, look. Tony is going to have to stop at that red light. This will buy you some time. Quickly, Buster, you haven't got long to return the boxes. <laughs> nice thinking, Buster. Now all you need to do is work out how to load the boxes back where they belong. It looks like Scout has an idea. Great work, Scout. You can use that plank of wood as a ramp. There we go. A perfect place to unload the boxes. Great teamwork. <laughs> now you can close the doors, Buster. Just in time for the green light. Off Tony goes. I guess he'll never know how close he came to losing all of his boxes. Well done, Buster. Well done, Scout. Buster and Mommy are decorating the house for Halloween. But look, they still need a pumpkin. Looks like there are pumpkins for sale this way. Buster and Grandpa will go and fetch one. Whoa! So many pumpkins to choose from! Buster wants this big one. Now, Grandpa's going to carve a face into the pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. Eyes, a mouth, and a nose. But what's Buster seen? A sheet? Hmm. Oh, Buster pretended to be a ghost and scared Grandpa. But now the pumpkin is rolling away. Oh no, it's rolling towards the road. Phew, he just missed it. Quick, Buster and Grandpa are chasing after the runaway pumpkin. Buster's almost got it. Oops. There's Diggly building a wall. Oh dear, the pumpkin spooked him. Now it's rolling away again. No time to stop and play. They've got to keep chasing it. Poor Grandpa is out of breath. It's up to Buster to catch the pumpkin. Quick, it's heading for that pond. Buster's jumping for it. Well done, Buster! It rolled right into place outside the front door. Phew! That was lucky! <laughs> Mommy looks very pleased. Good job, Buster and Grandpa! It's Buster! Time to wake up! <laughs> It's a bright new day. <laughs> Look, Mommy has made Buster's breakfast already. Jam on toast, Buster's favorite. Ouch, Buster drove over that toy. It's okay, Mommy can kiss it all better. There. Now Buster can go out and play soccer. Ooh. How exciting! <laughs> now Buster is playing in the park with Scout. Nice one, Scout. But oh no! The soccer ball has gotten stuck in the tree. But look! Mommy has knocked the ball free again. Well done, Mommy. Now they can keep on playing. <laughs> What's this? Mommy and Buster are painting a picture. It's so much fun to paint together. 
<laughs> Look, the sun has a face. <laughs> But oh dear, Buster is sleepy. It's been such a busy day. Time for Buster to go to bed now. First, Mommy reads Buster a bedtime story. Aw, good night, Buster. It was so much fun spending the day playing with Mommy. She really is the best. <laughs> hey there, Buster. My, you're looking messy today. It's so much fun to play in the muddy puddles. Come on now, Buster. Time to go to the car wash. You'll be squeaky clean again in no time. <laughs> hey there, Tony Truck. Whoops, he knocked out the power cable. <laughs> oh no! The car wash is turned off and Buster is stuck inside. Quick, Scout. Buster needs your help. He's really stuck tight. Maybe if you give him a push. Ugh, it's no good. He won't budge. It'll be okay, Buster. Scout's going to get help. Be brave. Wow, here comes Scout. And she's brought Ashley the fire truck, Amber the ambulance, and Otis the police car with her. You'll be okay now, Buster. The emergency vehicles are here to help. I think Ashley has a plan. Grab hold of that rope, Buster. They're going to drag you free. All together now, everybody. Heave! Hard as you can. Come on, everyone. What's this? Scout spotted the plug that got knocked out. Maybe if she plugs it back in... Yes! The car wash is back on, and Buster is free. Oh, thank goodness for that. Good teamwork, everybody. <laughs> It's fall, and Buster the Bus and his friends are outside playing. <laughs> Look at all the leaves falling off the trees. What's this? I think Scout has an idea for a game. Oh, Scout wants to play hide and seek. What a great idea. You count, Buster, whilst everybody else goes and hides. Tony the truck is hiding in the barn. Jesse the Jeep is hiding under that box. Diggly the digger is going to dig a hole behind those bushes. Quick, Scout, you need to find somewhere to hide before Buster is done counting. But where? Three, two, one. Coming, ready or not. Where is everyone? Buster's going to seek. Is anyone hiding in that barn? Yes! You found Tony the truck, Buster! What about these boxes? Is anyone hiding here? I guess not. Wait a minute! Is that box following you, Buster? That must mean... Yes! You found Jesse the Jeep! Good job! What about those bushes? Anyone hiding there? Look, there's Robin! Did you see that? I wonder if... That's right! You found Diggly the Digger! Hooray! That just leaves Scout. I wonder where she could be hiding. Wait, did you notice something funny about that pile of leaves? There, Scout! Well done, Buster! You found all of your friends' hiding places! Wasn't that fun? It's a cold winter's night. What's Buster up to? Oh, wow! A drawing of some fireworks! Buster's so excited because tonight he's going to a real fireworks display. But wait, he's forgotten something. A nice warm hat. 
There. Now it's time to go and watch the fireworks. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Fireworks make loud noises. Oh dear, they frighten Buster. He doesn't like loud noises. Aw, poor Buster. He's shaking. What's Mommy doing? Oh, Buster's toy car makes loud noises. But that's not scary. What's that loud oh. noise? It's Grandpa with a soccer whistle. Buster loves soccer. He doesn't oh. mind that loud noise either. <laughs> <gasps> What's that loud noise? Huh? Oh, it's popcorn popping. Buster <laughs> loves popcorn. He doesn't mind that noise. <laughs> wow, the fireworks are so pretty. <sighs> Maybe loud noises aren't so bad after all. Buster's going to give it another try. Whoa! Look at those colorful fireworks! Wakey, wakey, Buster. It's a brand new day. Wait a minute. There's no color. That's strange. Even Robin doesn't have any color. Look, Robin. Buster made you colorful again. Well done, Buster. Oh no, that baby duckling looks sad. She's lost her color. Maybe Buster can help. Great job! The color is back again. Oh, look how happy the duckling is now. Oh, look. Terry's farm has lost its color, too. Can Buster help? He sure can. You've got the magic touch, Buster. Oh, no. Not Scout, too. Go on, Buster. Help her be colorful again. There you go, Scout. Back to normal. Look, Buster can change the color of things, too. Now the ball is green. And now the ball is purple. Buster knows how to color things in. Wow, Buster made Scout rainbow colored. Now he's rainbow colored, too. It's Buster the Rainbow Bus. It's Terry again. Now it's Rainbow Terry. And look at all the fields! And the barn! Rainbow colors everywhere! Amazing! Buster even turned the clouds different colors. There's just one thing missing. A rainbow, of course! The rainbow bus is driving off over the rainbow. Bye-bye! Oh, Buster, it was only a dream. And it's raining outside. Oh, I'm sorry, Buster. Wait! Maybe you're magic after all, Buster. You made the sun come out. It's Buster the Bus. He looks very happy, doesn't he? Hmm. But, oh no. It started to rain. And there's some scary thunder and lightning. Uh-oh. It's a thunderstorm. Oh, look out for Scout, Buster. Oh, dear. Buster is so scared of the thunderstorm, he has left Scout behind in the rain. And now her wheel is stuck in the puddle. The lightning is everywhere now. Phew! Buster's safe and sound in the garage. But what about Scout? Look, he has seen Scout. She really is stuck in that puddle. Will Buster be brave enough to go and help her? Scout's really struggling. Poor Buster. He is so scared of the thunder and lightning, isn't he? You can do it, Buster. Wow, the lightning is so bright and scary. Yay! Go, 
Buster. He looks very determined to help Scout now. A quick push should do the trick. Huh? Oh. Yay! Scout's free! Look how happy she is. Well done, Buster. Ooh, the thunder is still very loud, though. Oh, but look! Buster has overcome his fear. Buster and Scout are happily heading back to the garage to get in from the rain. <laughs> that thunder just made both of them jump. Bye, Buster. <laughs> Bye, Scout. What a bright, sunny day it is. Oh, look. It's Diggly and CJ. They're filling up CJ's mixer with water. <laughs> what are they both up to? Look, there's Buster and Scout. Phew, what a hot day. I wonder what they can do to cool down. Whoa. Diggly and CJ are making colorful water balloons. <gasps> Looks like Buster and Scout have got an idea. Ooh, a water balloon fight. Ready? Set, off they go. <laughs> what are Buster and Scout planning? Oh, look, Diggly and CJ are sneaking up behind them. And splash. Uh-oh, Scout has been hit. And bullseye. Now things are getting interesting. Who is that hiding in the bushes? <laughs> it's Scout. <laughs> but she managed to hide just in time. It's CJ's second chance. But look, here comes Buster. He splashes CJ from behind. Quick, Buster. Oh no! CJ and Diggly have Buster and Scout cornered. What are they going to do? Aha! An umbrella! I think Buster's got a plan. CJ and Diggly take aim. But Buster is keeping dry with the umbrella. Great idea, Buster. Uh-oh. Diggly and CJ are filling up again. Whoa! Look at the size of that balloon! Looks like Buster is in trouble. Wow! Nice shot, Buster! <laughs> that was so much fun! Buster and his friends are on a holiday at the beach. What a fun day out! Wow! The sea looks amazing! What is that in the water? Ah! It's a shark! Buster is very scared! Oops! Watch out, Iggy! Mommy Bus is taking a nap on the beach. Buster is trying to tell her what he saw. It had scary fins and jumped out of the water. It was a shark. Hmm. Mommy Bus can't see anything. Don't worry, Buster. Everything is fine. And Mommy Bus is going back to her nap. Buster is still very scared. I wonder if the shark is still there. Ah, it's a shark! Go, Buster, go! Oops, not again. Buster is still frightened, but he wants to get over his fear. He's going back again. There's the shark. Wait a second, what's wrong? The shark has a sore, wobbly tooth. That's why it was jumping out of the water. Don't worry, shark. Buster can help. He's trying to get mommy's attention. She's awake. She's got her red kit and mommy bus to the rescue. Splat! Yum, yum. Mommy Bus is removing the shark's wobbly tooth. It's out! Hooray! The shark feels so much better now. Well done, Buster. He can't wait to show the tooth to his friend. Hey, Buster. Looks like another day to have fun. Oh, no. It's Bandit the bus. Buster, watch out. You will crash. Wait, 
What's happening? Oh, wow! You're floating in the air! Oh. <laughs> this is incredible, Buster! Hmm? <laughs> I wonder if you can fly! Oh, wow! You've turned into a superhero! You are so fast! Super Buster is here! Woohoo! What has Buster seen? It's Otis the police car. I wonder what Otis is looking for inside the tunnel. Wait, it's Bandit the bus. What is he up to? This doesn't look good. Oh no! He's pushed the boulder over the edge and trapped oh. Otis in the tunnel. <laughs> You've got to save him, Buster. You can't let Bandit the bus get away with this. That boulder looks very heavy. It's okay, Buster. You're a superhero now. You can save him. Oh, Buster, your eyes. Wow, you have laser vision. Well done, Buster. You've set Otis free. Now let's catch that naughty bandit bus. There's Bandit. Looks like he's up to no good again. Scout, watch out. Poor Scout. Look who it is. You're in trouble now. Super Buster is here. Buster, you can stop him. <laughs> Super Buster is too strong for Bandit. That should stop him. Ew. Now Buster just needs to help Scout out of the <laughs> pond. <laughs> Look at Bandit, he's stuck now. Oh, it was all just a daydream. I don't think the teacher is very happy. <laughs> Buster is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice. Buster and Scout are really grooving. Nice work, guys. Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drum. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops. Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along, and all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four. There. That sounds even better than before. At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy! What a kind thing Buster it's did. It's evening time, and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy. Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer. But Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. 
I wonder what he's whispering. Now, everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster, too. They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them. She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. Hooray! It's time for the big race. Diggly, Scout, and Buster are going to race to see who wins the cup. Oh, Bandit is racing too. Ready, steady, go! And they're off! Buster's driving as fast as he can, and his wheels are going round and round. Bandit's in the lead, but Buster is passing him. Hooray! Buster's in the lead! Everyone is driving really fast. Look out! Scout is speeding ahead. Scout's taking the lead. Uh-oh, a low bridge. Little Scout can fit under, but everyone else will have to go around. Buster and Diggly have reached a river. How will they cross? Nice! Diggly made a bridge. It was a shortcut. Now they've caught up with Scout. There's Bandit. Oh no, that's an oil barrel spilling all over the road. Scout and Diggly are sliding on the oil. What a cheater. But Buster is still racing. He's catching Bandit. Bandit skidding. He ended up in that pond. Serves him right. There's the finish line. Buster speeding ahead. Hooray! Buster won! And as his prize, he can have a nice tasty ice cream. And of course, the winner's cup. Buster, Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close. Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh! <laughs> Skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun! They could play a game! See who can skid the furthest! What a great idea! Bandit is going first! Swish! He skidded all the way over there! But Scout thinks she can do better! Vroom! Whoa! Scout went even further than Bandit! Now it's Ash's turn! He's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh! Uh-oh, he's getting out of control. Whoa! Oops, Buster splashed Mommy with mud. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash! And there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. Hello, Buster. That's a pretty looking flower. What a bright sunny day it is. Buster is very happy today. And look there, a nice juicy red apple. Better hurry, Buster, or you'll be late for school. The lesson has already started. Quick! Oh dear, I don't think the teacher is very happy with you being late, Buster. You better pay attention now to the lesson. 
Looks like today you're going to have to drive through the cones. <laughs> Here comes Robin. Pay attention, Buster. Don't get distracted. Oh, dear. The teacher doesn't look happy at all. It's time to drive through the cones. Orange Bus is going first. Slow and steady, that's it. The teacher looks pleased. Now it's your turn, Buster. Good luck. Whoa, slow down, Buster. You're knocking the cones over. Try and stay inside the cones. Oh dear, that's not what you were told to do. That will teach you for going too fast. The teacher is very disappointed. It's the end of school. Time for everyone to go home. I think Buster is sad that he didn't do what he was told in the lesson. Maybe he should go and say sorry to the teacher. The teacher looks really tired. It's been a long day for her, too. I think she could use some cheering up. Now what could you... The apple! Great thinking, Buster. That's very kind of you. And you've cheered up the teacher. Come on, Buster. You can do it this time. Slow and steady. That's right. You're concentrating and doing it really well, Buster. You did it! Nice work, Buster. Well, it's Buster and Robin. Buster looks like he's enjoying that bubblegum a lot. What's that? A message in a bottle. I wonder what it is. Whoa! It's a treasure map. X marks the spot. Buster and Robin are going to find the buried treasure. Now which way should they go? There's the jetty. And look! There's the desert island. They found it. Uh-oh. The water is full of sharks. They'll need to find a safe way across. Look, it's Katrina, the steamboat. She's stuck on the beach. She could use a push back into the water. That's it, Buster. Well done. Great. Katrina is back on the water. But oh dear, there's a hole. Katrina could sink if someone doesn't fix it. I think Buster has a plan. I wonder what he's doing with the bubble gum. Oh. He's using the bubble gum to block up the hole. Very clever, Buster. The sharks won't catch them now. Next stop, the desert island. Great! Buster's arrived on the island. Now he just needs to find the treasure. It's around here somewhere. There! X marks the spot. Buster's digging down. Wow! A treasure chest! Look! A coin! I wonder what Buster will use it for. Look! Diggly is working on Katrina, fixing up her leak. Oh, Buster is using the coin to pay Diggly. He's helping Katrina get fixed to say thank you to his new friend. What a fun adventure. Hello, Buster. Whoa, look at all that spooky slime. You're splashing it everywhere. Look, it's Terry the tractor. I don't think he wants to get covered in slime. Look how careful he's being. Zoom. <laughs> Wait, look out, Buster. You're heading straight for Terry. Phew, that was a close one. Watch out, Buster. Oh, dear. You splashed Terry with slime. I don't think he's very impressed. Off Buster goes again, having fun in the green slime. Watch out! Oh, no. Buster is stuck in the sticky slime. Dear, oh dear, he really is stuck tight. The sun's going down and it's getting dark. Spooky. I hope Buster's going to be okay. Look everyone, it's Terry Tractor. He's come to save the day. Terry doesn't look too happy about it though. Please help Buster, Terry. He just needs one big push. Ah. Can he do it? One, two, here we go! Hooray! Thanks, Terry. Oh, Buster. Thank goodness Terry Tractor was there to save Buster from the sticky green slime. Bye, Terry. Bye, Buster.
Buster and Diggly are having so much fun playing with that remote-controlled car. Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Look at it go! Look, there's Mommy! She's coming to tell them lunch is ready. And she's reminding Buster to put his toys away. Buster is putting the controller away, but look, the car is still outside. Now Buster and Diggly are back to carry on playing. But, oh no, they can't see the toy car anywhere. Where could it be? Could it be in the toy box? No, maybe it's in the dustbin. No. Maybe it's buried under the autumn leaves. It must be here somewhere. <gasps> Wait, I think Buster has an idea. If they use the control, listen. The car's engine. Where's the noise coming from? <laughs> Under that pile of leaves? <laughs> Hooray! They found the toy car! But wait, now the controller is missing! Where did it go? Oh, there it is! Well spotted, Buster! Now Diggly and Buster can have fun playing with their remote-controlled car again! But this time, they'll remember to put their toys back in the toy box when they're finished with them! Good job! Hey there, Buster! What's that you can see in the sky? Oh, wow! It's Santa's sleigh! He's going very fast! Uh-oh! I think he's going to crash! Quick, Buster! Go and see if Santa needs any help! Whoa! There's the sleigh and the reindeer! And look! There's Santa himself! Oh, dear! The sleigh is broken! How will Santa deliver all the presents in time now? I wonder if there's anything Buster can do to help. I think Santa has an idea. I wonder what he's got in mind. Whoa! Santa is sitting on Buster! And what's that magical glitter he has there? Bless you, Buster! All right, off you go! Watch out for that tree! Wait! Wow! Buster is flying! Just like Santa's sleigh! <laughs> now they can deliver the presents in time! Look, it's Scout! Where'd that present come from? Good job, Buster and Santa! There's Diggly decorating the Christmas tree in the town square. Huh? Merry Christmas, Diggly! <laughs> There's Terry out on his farm. Buster and Santa left a present for him, too. Wow, that's all the presents delivered. Well done, Buster. You helped Santa out. Now he's back home at the North Pole. <laughs> it's that magic powder again. I see. The magic powder is what lets Buster fly. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Buster. Look, it's Buster the bus on a bright new morning. What's he going to do today? What's that? Seeds? Whoa! Buster's going to grow some fruits and vegetables. Buster heads to his vegetable patch and takes a look at the instructions. First, he needs to dig a hole to plant the seeds in. Buster starts digging. Oh dear, this could take a long time. But look, there's Diggly. He'll be able to help. Diggly's the best at digging, and he's always happy to help his friend. Diggly will have holes for the seeds dug in no time. There, no problem. Now Buster plants all the seeds in the holes and looks at step two. Sunshine. The seeds need sunshine to grow. But uh-oh, it's a cloudy day. 
But look, there's Monty, the hot air balloon. Maybe he can help. There, Monty's pushed the cloud away. Now the seeds are growing. Now, step three. Rain? Looks like another job for Monty. He's hopping on the cloud and perfect! Now they just have to wait for the seeds to grow. Many days pass. The plants get bigger. Then one bright morning, Buster checks his calendar. Today is the day! <laughs> Look! Red tomatoes, orange pumpkins, yellow sweet corn, green beans, and purple eggplants. Well done, Buster! Look at all the colorful fruit and vegetables he's grown. Now he can share them with his friends. <laughs> hey there, Buster. Whoa, look at all the spooky Halloween decorations. Spiders, jack-o'-lanterns, creepy! Uh-oh, what's that? It's so big and dark. Oh, I think Buster is really scared. Don't be frightened, Buster. It's just your shadow. See? It's just the lighting shining past you. Pretty cool, isn't it? Hmm, I think this is the right way to go home. Let's go, Buster. Oh no! The lightning struck the street lamp. Now all the lights are going out. Poor Buster. I think he's scared of the dark. But wait, what's that? The full moon's come out. That'll light up the whole town like a big lantern. Come on, Buster, off we go. Oh dear me, clouds are moving over the moon again. And now there's a lightning storm coming. Oh no, Buster is scared of the storm too. Come on, Buster, you can be brave. It's just thunder and lightning. That's right, it's not scary, it's spectacular. Nice one, Buster. You were brave and faced your fears. <laughs> Look, it's Tony the truck. He looks even more frightened by the storm than Buster. Good job, Buster. Go and help Tony. Make him feel safe. There's no need to be afraid. See, the storm is over and the moon is back. And that's just your shadow. Happy Halloween, Buster and Tony. <laughs> hey there, Buster. Oh, wow, a soccer ball. Ooh. Look, it's Scout. She wants to play. <laughs> Great kick, Buster. <laughs> nice one, Scout. <laughs> Who's that driving down the road? It's Tony the truck. <gasps> oh, no, Buster. Be careful where you kick the ball. Watch out Ooh. for Tony. Ouch, that must have hurt. Hmm. I hope Tony is okay. <gasps> Buster, you have to be more careful. Watch out for that pin. Oh no, ah! it's punctured Buster's tire. Oh? Look, Scout, wow. Tony the truck needs help. I know who hmm. we need. Oh. Yay, oh. Amber the ambulance. Huh? Good job, Scout. <laughs> it sure is an eventful day. Hmm. I hope you feel better soon, Tony. Oh, Buster, that sure looks painful. Don't worry now, it was only an accident. Tony is in safe hands and Amber will come back shortly. Buster, look, it's Amber. Let's get you fixed. <sighs> Off to the garage, Buster goes. Uh -huh. Oh, wow, Tony looks Ooh. great. <laughs> Buster is getting a new tire. All fixed. Hmm. Oh, Buster, wow. accidents happen. Be more careful next time. <laughs> Great kick, Buster. <laughs> oh, no, not again. Buster is being more careful. Look left, look huh? right. Now that's more like it. 
Well done, Buster. Over here, Buster. <laughs> it's a brand new snowy day. And Buster can't wait to go outside and play. It's so much fun to play in the snow. And the best game of all is a snowball fight. Diggly and Scout are on one team, but Buster needs a teammate. Look, there's Bandit. He can be on Buster's team, though Buster and Bandit don't always get along. Time to start throwing snowballs. Buster and Bandit are hiding behind that hill. Hmm, Buster thinks they should go this way, but Bandit thinks they should go that way. Oh dear, they can't agree. They're not working together as a team. Buster is sneaking through the trees. But Scout has spotted him. Look out! Oh dear. Bandit is trying to sneak behind the fence. Buster and Bandit aren't doing very well. But look! Scout and Diggly are working together. That's it! If Buster and Bandit want to win, they'll need to work together like a team. Whoosh! Off they go! And that's more like it. Now it's a real fun snowball fight. It's much better with teamwork. <laughs> Who threw that snowball? <gasps> Grandpa! The more players, the more fun it is. Buster and his friends look so excited. What's going on? Oh, wow! Mommy has set up an Easter egg hunt for them. What's that? I think Scout is really excited about having some yummy chocolate. Ready and go! Everyone's going to look for the Easter eggs. Oops! Try not to bump into each other. Nice! Ash found an egg in that tree. He's rushing back and putting it in the basket so they can all share it later. Good job, Ash! Ooh, I think Buster has seen an egg too. Wait, this is just the wrapping paper. Where's the chocolate egg gone? Buster's disappointed. But look, there's another egg by the bush. Hmm, this one's just wrapping too. Someone has taken the chocolate. Very strange. Oh dear, Ash is worried. They haven't found enough eggs to share around. But it's okay, they'll just have to keep looking. What's this? Another empty bit of wrapping. There's Bandit. He's sneaky. Maybe he's been stealing all the chocolate? He's got some eggs. But look! He's putting them in the basket. It's not Bandit who's stealing them. Look, there goes Scout. She'll know what to do. But wait. Is that chocolate around Scout's mouth? She's the one stealing all the eggs. Look, Scout hid all the eggs she found behind that bush. She loves chocolate so much, she wanted them all to herself. But she's very sorry. She knows sharing is the right thing to do. Buster forgives her, but they'd better clean that chocolate off her face. There, Mommy can share them out equally. Ash, Bandit, Buster, Scout. Everyone gets some yummy Easter eggs. Halloween. Ash and Scout are at Buster's house, ready to go trick-or-treating. Whoa! That zombie costume looks amazing! Bandit is not impressed. Boo! Nope, Bandit doesn't want to join in. He thinks dressing up is for babies. Buster, Scout, and Ash head off on their trick-or-treating adventure. Hang on, Bandit would really like some Halloween sweets. <gasps> Looks like he's got an idea. Hmm. <gasps> 
Bandit has copied Buster's costume. They look exactly the same. He's arrived at Terry's farm, looking like Buster. Mm. Trick or treat? Mm. <sighs> wow, look at all those sweeties. Oh look, Buster, Ash, and Scout have arrived. Some sweeties for Scout? Some sweeties for Ash? Hang on. Nope. Terry thinks he's already given Buster lots of sweets. But it was actually Naughty Bandit. Poor Buster. Ash and Scout like how they look in their reflections. What is that? A sweet wrapper? And another? It's Bandit eating all the sweets. Buster has a plan. Ash and Scout are pretending to think that Bandit is Buster. Bandit is looking at himself in the reflection. Wait a second, now there are two Bandits! Bandit is a bit confused and a bit scared. Where have the others gone? Boo! Buster's plan worked. Bandit has been caught in the act. And here's Terry with more sweets. He's confused by the two zombies. He's given them to Bandit again. But Bandit is sharing it with Buster. <laughs> what a funny mix-up. Happy Halloween! It's Buster the bus. Look, he's seen a cute little Easter bunny. Whoa! Buster has turned into a bunny bus. He's going to dance the bunny dance for us. Hop, hop, hop. Then wiggle your tail. Great! <laughs> then jump up as high as you can, just like a bunny rabbit. Then wiggle your nose. There, you've got it! <laughs> that was so much fun! Wiggle, 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 hop, hop, hop. You're doing great! Wiggle, 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 hop, hop, hop. Spin in a circle and wiggle your nose. Yay! Hey, it's Scout the car. I think she wants to learn the bunny dance, too. Are you ready? Hop, hop, hop. Then wiggle your tail. Yes. Then jump up as high as you can. Reach up high. Then wiggle your nose. That's it. Scout's got it. Now watch this. Wiggle to the left. Wiggle to the right. Wiggle as much as you can. Hey, this is fun. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hop, hop, hop. That's right. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, it was just Buster's dream. But never mind, we still learned a really cool new dance. Ash is coming round to play at Buster's house. They're really excited to play some board games. Today's game is Snakes and Ladders. How exciting! And Ash gets to go first. Five and two, that's seven. So Ash moves his counter seven spaces. Now it's Buster's turn. Eight! Along the counter goes. Now it's Ash's turn again. Oh, wow! He's rolled very well. He's going up a ladder. Now Buster. Five. Oh, dear! Down the snake he goes. Buster's not doing well. Oops! He knocked over his counter. 
What's that? Here comes Grandpa with lots of other toys to play with, but he's dropped them all. Ash is helping to pick them all up. But no one is watching Buster. <gasps> oh no, he moved his counter up. But that's cheating. Oh no, he's moved it to the finish line like he's won the game. Now Ash is back. Looks like the game is over. Buster won. Ash doesn't understand how that happened, but he's happy for his friend. Ah. That's odd. Buster should feel happy he won, but he doesn't feel right. Not right at all. Buster cheated. He didn't win fair and square, so it feels all wrong. But Grandpa knows it's not all about winning. It's playing the game that's the fun part. And now it's Ash's turn. Ash rolls. Whoa, he almost went down the snake. Buster goes down another snake and... <laughs> there, Ash won fair and square. But Buster is happy for his friend. They had so much fun playing together. Oh, wow. Buster's become a rocket. And he's going to space. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Look at Buster go! All right! You did it, Buster! You're in outer space! What a cool place to be! I think Buster wants to go space exploring! Look at that! It's a red planet! Let's go in for a closer look! Hey there, little space buddy. I bet that alien has never seen a bus before. Where are you off to now, Buster? Oh, a yellow planet. It's so beautiful with that huge ring around it. Look at that. Buster's gonna go for a drive around the ring. Let's see how fast you can go. Whoa, that was fun. What's Buster seen now? It's a purple planet. Isn't it huge? Whoa! Round and round the planets Buster goes. Round the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. But wait! Oh no! A blue planet! Buster's going too fast! I think he's going to hit it! Oh, thank goodness! It was only a dream! You're okay, Buster. Look, Scout is using her telescope to look at the night sky. Take a look, Buster. There's the purple planet, the yellow planet, and the red planet. Hello, little space buddy. Happy holidays, Buster. Oh no. Buster doesn't look very happy, does he? Let's go and see what's wrong with him. Buster seems very bored. Has he run out of things to do? <gasps> Did you hear that, everyone? Yes, it's Buster's friend, the Robin. But where could he be? I can't see him anywhere, can you? That's a very big sigh from Buster. <gasps> oh, look, there he is. And he's carrying Buster's bobble. I think he wants you to follow him, Buster. Go on, let's see what he wants to show you. Oh, he's bringing back a scarf. Huh? Great idea, Buster. <laughs> you should both build a snowman. <laughs> Look at him, using his wheels to pile up all the snow. Clever, Buster. Wow, it's already taking shape. And there's the head. Well done, Robin. A snowman isn't complete without his scarf. <gasps> what are those pieces of coal for? Of course! Now the robin's gone to find something else. Oh yes, a carrot for their snowman's nose. What a fantastic snowman. But look, Buster Ooh. thinks something's missing. Wow, that's a big gust of wind. And look, it's blown a top hat to Buster and the robin. That's what was missing. Well done, Buster. The robin certainly agrees. <laughs> Oh, wow! The snowman has come alive! Buster is so excited! Buster
Buster now has not only the Robin to play with, but his new snowman friend, too. Happy holidays, everyone. Buster the bus. Looks like he's having fun flying that kite. Look out! Oh, no. Scout accidentally hit Buster, and now the kite has flown away. I'm sure Scout didn't mean it, Buster. <laughs> Look, what's this? It's a letter addressed to Santa, but it's not been delivered. I think Buster has an idea. He's going to deliver the letter himself to make sure it gets to Santa safely. Oh no, the letter! Phew, thanks for the help, Robin. Off Buster goes. It's a long way to the North Pole where Santa lives. It's cold and tough. Be careful you don't get lost, Buster. Oh dear, almost there, Buster. What's this? Oh. Reindeer tracks. <laughs> Look, it's Santa! Buster made it! <laughs> Santa's saying hello, Buster. Go and give him the letter. Buster's driven such a long way to deliver it. Let's see what it says. Whoa, it's asking Santa to give Buster a kite for Christmas. It's from Scout. What a loyal friend Scout is. I think Santa knows what to do. Well done for delivering the letter, Buster. It's Christmas morning. Wake up, Buster. Oh, there's nothing under the tree. Maybe Santa was too busy. Wait, there's a present after all. Merry Christmas, Buster. And there it is, just like Scout asked. A kite to replace the one Buster lost. Thank you, Scout. What a thoughtful Christmas gift. Oh, look. It's Buster and Scout. They're playing in the snow. They're having so much fun jumping and sliding around. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Oh, my. What has Scout seen? She looks very excited. I wonder what it is, Buster. Oh, wow! It's a frozen pond. Look at Scout skating on the ice. She's very good, isn't she, Buster? Come on, Buster. Why don't you give it a try? Whoop, careful! Aw, <laughs> poor Buster. The ice is very slippery. It hasn't seemed to stop Scout. Look at her go! I think Buster is scared of the slippy ice. Come on, Buster. There's no need to be afraid. Ha-ha, there you go. You'll get the hang of it. <laughs> Off Buster goes, skating around the pond. <laughs> He's really going for it. They're both having so much fun skating on the ice. Well done, Buster. Scout seems very impressed. Oh, wow, look at Buster flying through the air. Look, you've cracked the ice. The ice is cracking even more. And it's cracked around Scout. She's trapped. Buster, what are you going to do? If you go any closer, the ice will surely break. Great idea. Mr. Snowman won't break the ice. Please, will you help Mr. Snowman? Look at him go. He's saving Scout. Well done, Mr. Snowman. And nice quick thinking, Buster. I don't think Buster and Scout will be doing any more skating. Thanks, Mr. Snowman. Bye, Buster. Bye, Scout. It's almost Christmas. But looks like it hasn't snowed yet. Aw. Hmm, what is Buster doing? Buster has made a Christmas picture frame for his best friend, Scout. It looks amazing. Well done, Buster. <laughs> he wants to give Scout the present right now, but he's got to get ready first. It's starting to snow. Ta-da! It's Santa Buster. He's dressed up as Santa. Time to take the present to Scout. She's going to be so happy. Oh no, there's so much snow. How are they going to reach the Christmas market? Careful, Buster. Ice can be very slippery. 
Uh-oh, Buster is sliding all over the place. Look out! Oopsie! Daddy to the rescue. It's all right, Buster. I think Daddy has an idea. I wonder what Daddy is doing. Wow, a sled! They can cross the snow on that. Yuppie, this is going to be fun! Oh, Buster, wait! Buster's going so fast, Daddy can barely keep up. Oh, slow down, Buster! It's lucky he landed in that big pile of snow. Oh, Daddy is in trouble too! Look out! Aw, maybe next time Buster should wait for Daddy to help. Oh no! The sled is broken! How are they going to get to the market now? Hmm, but maybe Buster has an idea. Aha! Buster stuck two bits of the broken sled together. What's he built? Oh, it's a snowplow! Go, Buster! They've done it! They've reached the road safely. Now to get the present to Scout. There's Scout at the Christmas market. And here's Buster. Time to give her the present at last. Aww. Scout loved her present. She's feeling so grateful. Well done, Buster. And Merry Christmas. Daddy Bus is taking Buster, Bandit, and Scout on a camping trip in the woods. It's time to set up the campsite. First, they've got to put up their tents. Yay! Daddy is showing them how. He's hammering in the pegs to stop the tent from blowing away. Look, they are keeping the tent in place. Aha! All done! Whilst Daddy Bus collects wood for the fire, Buster and his friends are finishing their tents. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> Bandit has some marshmallows. <gasps> Yummy! <gasps> oh no! Buster didn't hammer the pegs in properly. The tent has come loose. He can't see a thing. Watch out, Scout! Uh-oh, it's blowing away. Will Buster be able to catch it? Scout and Bandit join in to help. <gasps> Go, Buster, you can do it. Aha, it's finally fallen to the ground. Oh dear, not again! Daddy Bus, look out! Oops! The firewood has gone flying! Phew, he's okay! Time to finally put the tent up! Let's make sure all the pegs are in this time, Buster! Great job! I wonder what Daddy Bus has planned next. Wow! They're roasting marshmallows. Mmm, delicious. What a brilliant day! Time for the annual nature race, which Daddy Bus has organized. This is going to be so much fun. Ash and Buster are going to work together. They need to race through the woods as fast as they can, and the first one back gets the shiny trophy. Get set, go, go, go! Bandit has overtaken Buster and Ash. He really wants to win. What is he up to? <gasps> He's changed the sign! So Buster and Ash are going the wrong way. Oh no! <laughs> huh? There's no more path. This can't be right. And what's that? A huge tire print. Ash thinks it must be 
A monster. <laughs> nope, don't worry, Ash. Monsters aren't real. Uh-oh, I think they're lost, but they need to keep going. They're slowing down. Oh dear, they're stuck in the mud. What are they going to do? <gasps> what is that? It sounds like a m monster. Ha! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a monster truck. And they're very friendly. She's pulling Ash out of the mud. Wow, she's strong. And now it's Buster's turn. This monster truck is called Mira. She's lost too, just like them. Buster says they can work as a team. There's Naughty Bandit. He's almost at the finish line. But look! Buster and his friends are ahead. They ended up taking a shortcut. <laughs> Hooray! Mira won the race. But she couldn't have done it without her new friends. And she's won the trophy. Yippee! But Mira feels sad for Bandit being on his own. She knows what that feels like. Bandit feels bad for cheating in the big race. <laughs> Don't worry, Bandit. There's no need to cheat when you have friends by your side. And it's always fun to make new friends. Buster is excited to spend the day with Grandpa. And Grandpa's looking at a beautiful cake. Grandpa has an idea. They should bake the cake together. Buster and Grandpa have come to the supermarket to get the ingredients. Flour, eggs, milk, and icing sugar. Oop, who's that? It's Mira. Along with Terry. Buster rushes to get the ingredients. But Grandpa warns him not to be hasty. Buster's looking for flour. Bingo! He's found it! And so has Mira. Uh-oh. Looks like they've got the same list of ingredients. Whoa! They both want the same bag. Oops! Mira and Buster are in the race to find out who gets all the ingredients first. Buster's come to get the milk. He got it first. Off he goes, Mira. Whoops. Mira, you spooked the teacher. <laughs> she grabbed some milk, too. Slow down, you guys. Whoa. It's Grandpa and Terry. Both of them move very slowly. <laughs> you sure are smart and sly, Buster. Off they go again. Oh, look! There are the eggs! Oh, no! Buster dropped the eggs! And... Mira spotted the last bag of icing sugar. Mira sprints off to get it. But, oh no! Mira lost balance and crashed into the shelf. Buster grabs the last bag of icing sugar. But Mira's upset. Buster offers her the icing sugar. And she wants him to have it. Grandpa and Terry are surprised to see Mira in a mess. Buster's got a plan. Aw, 
Aw, looks like Buster and Mira shared the icing sugar to bake one big cake. The cake tastes delicious. Great teamwork, Mira and Buster. Buster and Grandpa are visiting the Christmas Winter Wonderland. Look at all the amazing stalls. Wow, Buster really wants to win that teddy bear. He's asking Grandpa if they can play. They get three throws to knock down the cans. Oops, Buster missed. Oh dear, that's all three of his throws. He's having another go. Oh no, he missed again. Buster's upset, but I think Grandpa can teach Buster a thing or two about throwing. The key to hitting what you aim at is to take your time. First, you take a big, long breath. Then take aim, crouch low, and throw. Whoa! Grandpa hit the cans! Now it's Buster's turn. A big, long breath. Take aim. Crouch low. And throw! Hooray! Nice shot, Buster! Now, time to go win that teddy bear. Oh dear! Buster didn't take his time. He needs to take a big, long breath. Take aim. Crouch low. And throw! Hooray! Buster did it! Well done, Buster! And here's his prize! Buster's so proud of himself! Buster and Mommy Bus are visiting Terry's farm today! Wow! The farm is so cool! Buster is so excited! Oh, look! An adorable litter of puppies! How cute! Buster has spotted a soccer ball. He loves soccer. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to check that all the puppies are healthy. But Buster has other ideas. He wants to go and play some soccer on the farm. <laughs> what was that? One of the puppies followed Buster outside. Looks like she wants to play. Hmm, but Buster wants to play by himself. There she is again! The puppy won't stop following him. Buster is throwing the puppy a stick to distract her. That will make her leave. Nope, that didn't work. And now the puppy has taken the soccer ball. What a cheeky little puppy. Aha! Finally Buster got his ball back. But the puppy still wants to play. Stay there, puppy. Buster is hiding behind a stack of hay bales. <gasps> Not again! Maybe Buster can lose the puppy in the cornfield. The puppy is sad she can't find him, but Buster's plan worked. Oh no! How did that puppy get up there? She's going to fall! <gasps> And Mommy Bus and Terry haven't noticed. <laughs> quick, Buster, quick! Go, Buster! Phew! He saved the puppy! That was a close one! 
Mommy Bus has noticed a puppy is missing. But don't worry, Buster has brought her home. What a fun day at the farm. Uh-oh, not again. Daddy Bus and Buster are visiting the river today. What are they going to get up to? Oh, boats! How exciting! Buster wants to ride the boat. But wait, not yet. First, Daddy Bus wants to teach Buster how to tie a strong knot so the boat doesn't float away. Daddy Bus has tied a great knot. Now it's Buster's turn. Aw, oh, nearly there. That's okay, Buster. Tying strong knots is really hard. Daddy Bus is going to show Buster how to do it again. But Buster isn't very interested in tying knots. Hmm, the boat is right there. And Daddy is concentrating very hard on his knot. Buster's off. This is much more fun. Oh no, the boat wasn't tied to the dock. The river is carrying Buster away. Buster's trying to paddle back, but he can't seem to steer. Daddy Bus to the rescue. Uh-oh, that boat has a leak. He needs to find another way. Buster is floating even further down the river. Careful, Daddy Bus. What's Buster going to do? Oh, there's a bridge. Buster's grabbing on. Phew. Oh no, the pole broke off. Daddy Bus just missed him. Look out. Uh-oh, Buster has spotted rocks ahead. But he can use the wooden pole to steer away from them. It's working. Good thinking, Buster. Oh no, the pole snapped. And look, a waterfall ahead. What's Daddy pointing to? A rope. Perfect. The waterfall isn't far away now. You can do it. Go, Buster! Nice throw. Daddy Bus is pulling Buster back to the shore. Nearly there. Just a bit further. Phew! Back on dry land. Now Buster and Daddy are fishing instead. That's much more relaxing. Wow, Buster, look at that red balloon. Why don't you try and catch it? <laughs> nice try, Buster. But it's floating away. Aw, Buster looks sad. Oh, hey, little Robin. You might be able to catch the runaway red balloon. There we go. Thanks, Robin. That's a nice looking balloon, Buster. Oh, wow, there's another balloon. This one is green. Quick, Robin, catch it. There we go. Now you have two balloons, Buster. Gosh, look at all those colorful balloons. You know what to do, Robin. <laughs> Buster, the balloons are lifting you off the ground. Robin has lost Buster. He's up there, Robin. Buster's flying. It's okay, Buster, don't be scared. Look at the view from up here. <laughs> Terry can't work out where that horn is coming from. Look up there, Terry. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Buster the Bus. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. Oh, Buster, you're floating quite high now. Terry looks so small down there on the ground. I think Buster is starting to get scared. You don't want to end up in space, Buster. Robin, you've got to help. Great idea. If you pop the balloons, Buster will hopefully float down. Oh no, Buster's falling really quickly. It's okay, Buster, you've nearly reached the ground. I think a few more balloons will do it, Robin. And touchdown. Buster is pleased to be back on the ground. I think we should leave the flying to Robin, Buster. Oh, where's Robin going? 
<laughs> Another balloon? I think Buster has had enough of balloons for one day. Bye, Buster. <laughs> Bye, Robin. Whoa! Buster and his friends have been out trick-or-treating for Halloween. <laughs> Buster has lots of tasty sweets in his bucket. <laughs> Grandpa reminds Buster that he shouldn't eat too many sweets at once. Now Buster's up in his room. But now, no one is watching. He's eating all the sweets he can. Ouch! That really hurt! Oh no! Buster has a wobbly tooth! That's really frightening! Mommy's come to fetch Buster. It's dinner time! But he's hiding his wobbly tooth. I don't think he wants anyone to know. <laughs> Dinner's ready. Lots of tasty vegetables. But Buster doesn't want to eat. Mommy can tell something has upset Buster. He's showing her his wobbly tooth. Aw. Grandpa knows what to do. He tells Buster to take a bite of that sweet corn. <laughs> Look! Buster's tooth has fallen out! That wasn't so bad! Buster feels much better now! Now it's time for bed! <laughs> Mommy tells Buster to put the tooth under his pillow. Whilst he's asleep, the tooth fairy will come to collect it. Buster wakes up the next morning and... Whoa! A big gold star! Buster is going to wear that proudly. Now he knows there's nothing to worry about with a wobbly tooth. Buster, Bandit, and Mira are outside playing with their soccer ball. Daddy Bus is fishing. <sighs> he hasn't caught any fish yet. Buster has some great skills. Whoa! And so does Mira! That's a big kick, Bandit! Watch out, Mira! Oh no! The ball knocked Mira's hat off! Where did it go? It's not over here! It's definitely not over there! Mira is upset that her favorite hat is missing! Don't worry, Mira! We'll help you find it! Buster has an idea! We can look for the hat using our imagination. Now we can turn the search into a fun game. Off they go. It's time to look for that hat. Whoa, those are very big footprints. They decide to follow them and see where they go. Stop, what's that up ahead? It's a dinosaur. And he's wearing Mira's hat! Uh-oh! Run! They're going as fast as they can, but the dinosaur isn't far behind. And Buster spots a big volcano up ahead. They've got to get over that puddle. Buster and Mira make it, but oh no! Bandit gets stuck! Buster is trying to help Bandit get out. Uh-oh! The dinosaur caught up with them! He looks very scary! But what's the dinosaur doing? He's seen his reflection! And I think he likes the hat! But that's Mira's hat, and she wants it back! Looks like she has an idea! Wow! Nice shot, Mira! The ball knocked the hat right off! Oh no! But looks like the hat is flying straight towards the volcano! How are they going to get it back now? Buster can do it using his imagination. It's Super Buster! Off he flies to save the hat. It's getting closer and closer to the volcano. He needs to be quick. Go, Buster! He got it! Thanks, Buster. You're a great friend. 
They played a fun game, and Mira got her favorite hat back. Everything is more fun when you use your imagination. Hey there, Buster. Looks like a hot day out in the desert. Whoa, look at that ahead. A big mountain with smoke rising from the top. What was that? It's Frida the sports car. She's speeding off toward the smoky mountain. I think she wants to race. Buster and Rita are speeding across the desert together. Rita is faster. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster is using that ramp to jump after Rita. Phew, that was a fun race to the top. But look, what's that? Hot molten lava? I think this is a volcano. It could erupt at any moment. Uh-oh, Buster, careful of that rock. Oh no, it's fallen into the lava. Phew, nothing happened. Oh no, I think the volcano is erupting. Quick, guys, get out of there. Oh no, there are fireballs shooting out of the volcano. Look out, they'll be really hot. Oh no, Rita is stuck in the sand. Buster is being brave and going to help his new friend. Great job, Buster. Now quickly, drive away. Faster, faster. Phew, that was a close one. Here's Ashley the fire truck. She doesn't look pleased. She's going to have to put out all the fire. Buster and Rita aren't saying anything. They didn't mean to set the volcano off. That was close, but Buster made a brand new friend along the way. Bye, Buster. Bye, Rita. I wonder what Buster and Digger are doing. <laughs> Wow, who painted that? Looks like you guys want some ice cream. <gasps> Digger, <laughs> that is one big ice cream cone. Oh look, here comes Iggy, the ice cream truck. Buster and Digger want Iggy to help make them the giant ice cream. Now let's see. Oh, cherries. Mmm, that's a delicious flavor. Let's pick that. Wow, look at all that ice cream. Right, next we need a blue ice cream. Blueberries? Perfect! <laughs> that is looking so good, Buster. Okay, yellow next. Bananas, good choice. <laughs> <laughs> you want more? Okay, this has to be the last flavor, otherwise it will be too big. Apple it is. This is going to be one tasty ice cream. <laughs> one last effort, Iggy. That ice cream looks quite wobbly. Steady as you go, Digger. Robin has come to get Scout so that she can find out what Buster and Digger have made for her birthday. You better follow Robin, Scout. Whoa. Happy birthday, Scout! <laughs> that is the biggest ice cream I have ever seen! Oh no, Digger! Watch out, Scout! That was close. <laughs> Blow the candle out, Scout. Now you can all tuck into the ice cream. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> Look, there's Scout, and there's Buster. I think they're playing tag. What's Buster seen? Oh, wow, a maze. Scout is going inside. Go on, Buster, try and find her. I wonder which way Scout went. There she is. Off they go, winding their way through the maze. Which way should Buster go now? This way. Oh look, a yellow flower. How nice. A few more turns and which way this time? This way. 
Wait a minute. It's that flower again. Buster's gone round in circles. Maybe if he backs up, he can find his way out. There's Scout. She looks lost, too. Whoa! Buster and Scout have found each other. Thank goodness. But now, they need to find the way out. Scout is balancing on Buster's roof. Maybe she can see a way out. There it is! Good job, Scout! <laughs> They're speeding off towards the exit. But which way is it? Oh dear, they're still lost in the maze. Look, tire tracks. They can follow those all the way to the way out. Good thinking, Buster. There's that flower again. A little further and hooray! They made it out. Great teamwork, guys. <laughs> Look, it's Rita the sports car. She's speeding into the maze. Oh well, I guess Buster and Scout will have to help her find her way out. Wow, what a beautiful day it is today. I think Buster is feeling a little hot. Hey, look, Scout has the right idea. An ice cream will cool you down, Buster. And it looks delicious. Do you hear that, Buster? It sounds like Iggy, the ice cream van. Hey there, Iggy. Buster wants an ice cream. Look at all the different flavors. Chocolate chip, vanilla sprinkles, triple towered scoop, raspberry swirl, strawberry and vanilla with chocolate sauce. Looks like Buster has made his choice. Wow, thanks, Iggy. Oh, that was quick, Buster. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Another one already? Oh, hey, Digger. He's joined the queue for an ice cream. Another ice cream coming right up. Buster, you really want a third ice cream? You're not the only one who wants ice cream, Buster. Mmm, yummy. A vanilla with a chocolate flake. The queue is getting bigger. And Buster wants a fourth ice cream. Yummy, this one has a cherry on top. Okay now, Buster, I think you've had enough. Digger and Billy are waiting patiently for their ice cream, and you are being greedy. Looks like Iggy has had enough of Buster's behavior. Ha, <laughs> you want more ice cream, Buster? Here you go. Ha, <laughs> look, it's Buster the ice cream. It's definitely still missing some toppings, though. A tasty chocolate flake and a cherry. Yummy. <laughs> that has definitely cooled Buster down. <laughs> Billy is enjoying that cherry. And Digger is tucking into a big scoop off the top. This Buster ice cream is really tasty. I'm sure Buster will think twice before he's greedy again. Thanks, Iggy, for some wonderful tasty ice cream. Ice cream really is as good as it looks. Buster looks so excited. I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner, but he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm, Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look, he's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. 
But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. <laughs>